There's lots of ways to cook green beans. In today's video, we're making a green bean casserole. So come and join us in the kitchen as we cook up this casserole. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Town Southern Wife. Tonight we're making a green bean casserole and I thought I'd share this recipe with y'all to make this green bean casserole. Okay everybody, this is what you're gonna need for your green bean casserole. Seven cans of green beans, you drain the water out of them that they're cooked in and uh, it takes seven cans and they're 14.5 ounces and then we use three cans of cream of mushroom one can of chicken broth, some oil to spray your pan with, some French fried onions, that's to put on the top once you get it done. And then I have one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. That gives it a good flavor. And it, it don't make them too hot. It gives it just a good tangy taste, uh, but they're not hot at all. So let me uh, turn y'all around here. and We'll start mixing all these ingredients up. And right here, I already have my green beans. Right there, I've already got my green beans drained. I just saved that one can so I could show y'all what I use. But now, uh, that's seven cans right there drained. So let's turn around and we'll get started mixing it up. Okay, here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go ahead and put our green beans in this big, big, big stainless steel bowl. I love using this bowl. It makes it good to mix all your stuff up in. And uh, I've had it for years. But let's go ahead and we're gonna put our green beans in it. And then go ahead and add your broth. And then I've got to get me something to get the string of mushroom out of the cans. Okay. I went and got me something that won't make so much racket getting that cream of mushroom out. But I just chop it up in there. And it don't take much for that to start dissolving. Once you start mixing the beans, you'll be folding it in there. And you know, the cream of mushroom has a little water in it too. See all that juice coming out of there? sauce, salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and then your red pepper flakes. waste none of our cream of mushroom. And then what you do is you just fold it in real good and start mixing. See all that juice that's coming out of that cream of mushroom and your, your broth that you put in there? It don't take much to mix that cream of mushroom up once you get it mixing. Now this recipe is for a large family dinner. You can cut it in thirds if you don't want as much at one time. 
but we were having Thanksgiving today, so this is a large batch of green bean casserole. You could either cut it in thirds or cut it in half. Oh, it smells good, and we had not even cooked it yet. But you've got your green beans, your broth, your cream of mushroom, and all your spices. Fold it in. And now we're going to spray our casserole dish and get it ready. Spray it real good. And we're just using canola spray. And now we're going to put our green beans in the casserole dish and it may be more than I need and if it is I'll make me another small dish but I believe it's not going to be. Yep. And this is a pretty deep casserole dish so it fits that recipe almost perfect. Green bean casserole. Okay, once you get it in the casserole dish, you've already had the oven preheating on 350. And then we're gonna bake the green bean casserole for one hour, and then we'll take it out, put our french fried onions on it, and then bake it for another 15 minutes to get them golden brown. And then we'll show you what it looks like in one hour. Right here, if you didn't want to use these french fried onions, you could use Ritz crackers also. Okay, everybody, it's time to take the green bean casserole out of the oven. So, let's get it out. Okay, now let's take the french fried onions that we got and just coat it real good. And I put mine pretty heavy because they always like the green beans with the french onions on them pretty good. So I cover it real good. much where you can't even see the green beans once you get your onions on there. You've already baked it for that one hour and now we've got to put it back in there for 15 minutes and get those French onions just a little bit golden toasty. We got 15 minutes now, and then we'll take it back out. Okay, everybody, it's been our 15 minutes, and we're fixing to take our casserole out of the oven. So let me get my pot holders, and we're going to get it out of there. Let me get y'all down where y'all can see it. It looks good and golden crispy. Okay, there's our green bean casserole. See how the, the French onions just golden up just a little bit? 
That's how you want it. You don't want them too dark. You don't want them too light. And that right there will turn out just perfect. So whenever we get a piece cut, we'll show you. Okay. You'll need to let it cool for about 10 minutes so that uh, all the ingredients, they'll blend together when it starts cooling off. You need to let it cool so it can have time to rest just for a few minutes before you serve it up. And then we'll get us a serving of it and show you what it looks like. Okay, y'all, that's our green bean casserole that we always have liked to cook. We have it for different holidays, different dinners. It's always good no matter what you try to do it for. And I wanted to say thanks for subscribing if you have. If you hadn't, you might consider subscribing. We're trying to grow our channel and every little, every subscriber helps. So if you think we're doing a good job and would want to, uh, go ahead and hit the, hit the red subscribe button. And if you think we're doing a good job on making our videos, give us a thumbs up. It helps us grow and helps our channel get out there more. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.